So if we think about advanced care planning in its widest context, that can be including a number of things, such as making a will. So I think people take it for granted that if they die without a will, it won't matter because they know that actually everything will go to the people that they love. And that isn't the case. And actually, if you die without a will, it's classed as being as dying intestate. And actually, that can cause real problems for family members because it takes a lot longer to sort out everything. And actually, at a time when you're grieving, you don't want to be having really arduous discussions with solicitors and trying to sort it all out. I think actually providing any sort of end-of-life plan is very difficult for the person and for the family. But if there's not an end-of-life plan or a will or a power of attorney in place, the whole process of uh, your estate becomes incredibly complicated and very expensive from a legal point of view. If you have a will, it's clearly laid out what your wishes are and it goes through. If you're terminally ill and you don't have a will, you're going to have to make that decision about the will at a time when you are not in the best state of mind. And by making a will, um, even when you make it and you're in good health, you have to acknowledge your own death. If you're terminally ill, that may make it very, very difficult because again your death may be very close. So it's always best to do the will when you're in good health. So when it comes to making a will, if you're having any difficulties then please do look on Macmillan Cancer Support's website because actually we have a really helpful leaflet that's called Step by Step Guide to Making a Will and that will give you all the information that you need. Thank you.